factors affecting the distribution of temperature. The distribution of temperature over Earth is not uniform. The temperature of the atmosphere of a place depends upon many factors. Let us learn about them one by one. The first factor is the differential heating and cooling of land and water. The land mass gets heated and cooled fast. The water mass, that is, seas and oceans retain heat for a longer period. Equatorial waters remain hot and give rise to hot currents, while the polar waters are cold. The winds from the oceans and ocean currents transport heat or cold. Warm currents move from equatorial to polar latitudes. They transport warm water to cooler regions. Currents which flow from higher polar latitudes to lower latitudes in the equatorial regions carry cool water to warm regions. In this way, warm currents along the coast make the coastal areas warmer and cold currents make them cooler than usual. The warm North Atlantic drift raises the winter temperature of Northwest Europe, especially that of the British Isles and Norway. Due to the influence of the warm North Atlantic drift, the port of Bergen, about 60 degrees north in Norway, remains open during the winter season while the ports on the northeast coast of Canada, located in the same latitudes, remain frozen for several months because of the influence of the cold Labrador current. The temperature of a place also depends on the latitude. Temperature decreases with an increase in latitude on either side of the equator due to the spherical shape of the Earth and its annual revolution around the Sun. Sun's rays strike the Earth at varying angles of incidence owing to the spherical shape of the Earth and its inclination on its axis. Oblique or slanting rays not only travel a longer distance but also heat a larger area. Thus they have less heating power. The midday sun is almost overhead within the tropics but at oblique angles outside the tropics. The above two factors indicate that higher the latitude, colder is the place. On this basis, Earth is divided into five temperature zones. A. Torrid zone between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. B. North Temperate Zone C. South Temperate Zone and D. The Two Frigid Zones The sun's rays that fall over the torrid zone travel a shorter distance and heat up a smaller surface area, leading to a high temperature. Beyond the torrid zone, the sun's rays travel a longer distance because of the inclined axis and the revolution of the earth on its axis. Much of the heat is absorbed by clouds and water vapors or reflected back by the dust particles. The sun's rays fall in a slanting position and heat up a larger area. Beyond the torrid zone, the temperature goes on falling. The distance from the sea is another factor that influences the temperature of a place. The sun's rays pass through water to a great depth. Water is mobile and thus the warm water mixes easily with the cold water. Because of these reasons, the water is neither heated 
nor cooled quickly. However, the sun's rays heat a piece of land more rapidly because the heat obtained by the area does not mix with the other areas of land. Hence, the land gets heated or cooled quicker than water. Hence, during the day, the land is hotter than the sea. The hot air over the land becomes lighter and moves upwards. This creates a low-pressure area over the land. The air above the sea is cooler during this time. When the air blows towards the low-pressure area over the land, it lowers the temperature of the air on land. Such cool breeze that blows over the earth and cools the coastal regions is known as sea breeze. At night, the situation is reversed. The sea remains warmer than the land, so the breeze flows from land to sea. This land breeze makes the sea cooler. Thus, the interchange of breeze maintains the heat balance. The areas close to the sea have lower daily and annual ranges of temperature. Temperature of the atmosphere of a place is also affected by the altitude. The height of a place above the mean sea level is known as its altitude. The higher the altitude, the lower is the temperature. That is, air is cooler at higher altitudes than on the Earth's surface. The main reason for the decrease in temperature with an increase in height is that the atmosphere is heated from below more by terrestrial radiation than by incoming solar radiation. Air on the surface of the earth is denser and contains more carbon dioxide, water vapor and other gases. Hence, its heat absorption capacity is more in the lower layers than in the upper layers where its density is less. The rate of decrease in temperature with height is about 6 degrees Celsius per kilometer above the sea level. This means that on climbing every 166 meters, there is a fall of 1 degree Celsius in temperature. It is known as normal lapse rate. The normal lapse rate is usually more in summer than in winter. This explains why it is cooler at the top of a mountain than at the bottom or why hill stations in summer in tropical countries have a pleasant climate than the plains. Slope of the land also influences the temperature of a place. For instance, an area with a steep slope experiences a more rapid change in temperature than a gentle one. That is why a mountain range with an east-west alignment, like the Alps, has a higher temperature on the south-facing sunny slope than the north-facing sheltered slope. Similarly, temperature may be lower in the valley than higher up the slopes. It happens on calm, cold winter nights when the sky is clear and the air is very dry. Due to these conditions, the heat from the Earth's surface escapes rapidly back into space, making the upper slopes warmer. The cold is further increased by the sinking of the cool air from the mountain sides. In this way, there is a reversal in the vertical distribution of temperature. In this case, the temperature decreases down in the valleys. This is known as the inversion of temperature. The direction of the wind is another factor that influences the temperature of a place. Since lower latitudes are warmer than higher latitudes, 
winds blowing from lower latitudes to higher latitudes warm the higher latitudes. Moreover, warm winds that blow from the sea into land are moisture laden and cause rainfall on land, especially when they strike against a barrier. Such winds lower the temperature of the place that they blow into. The temperature of a place also gets affected by the vegetation of the place. Every surface has different properties. A crop covered field absorbs between 60 to 80 percent of the solar energy whilst a snow surface absorbs only 20% of the solar energy. Thus, vegetative cover or plants absorb more sunshine than snow fields and use this energy in the process of transpiration. Hence, these areas do not become very hot. Cloud cover and humidity also play a role in influencing the temperature of a place. In hot wet regions, the dense cloud cover prevents incoming insulation as well as checks outgoing radiation. Thus, average temperatures here are not more than 30 degrees Celsius. In hot desert areas, there are no cloud covers. So there is high insulation during daytime and rapid loss of heat during night due to terrestrial radiation. So deserts are hot during day and cold at night.